This episode of Film Rights brought to you by Domain.com. God? God, no, God, no! God! Yes. Now have a seat, biatch. No. I said have a seat. You want to play a game? No, I don't. You want to play a game? I do not. You want to play a game? No! You want to play a game? Fine, yes. Let's play a game. I have a demon in my brain. What? I planted a device in his head, and I think a little bit of his brain got chipped off in the process. So he's been a little weird. I was hungry, so I ate a baby. Okay. It was a baby person. Oh. Made of boats. You're sick. If I press this button here, it'll cause the pressure in Todd's head to increase until... So now I'm gonna ask you four questions. If you get them all right, I'm gonna let You're him... You're gonna kill him anyways! So you can go lick squirrel nuts. That could be taken in one of two ways. And no, if you get them all right, I won't shoot him. I'm so very scared, Josh. I know. And I'm gonna get you out of this. Let's do this thing, Gooch Goblin. First question, what is your name? Josh Connolly? Correct. Second question, which is brighter, daytime or nighttime? Daytime? Correct. Third question, in all of Film Riot, who is the sexiest member of the show? Bruno. Correct. It's the beard. Majestic thing. Final question, what is the square root of 1,350,450? Five. What is the square root of 1,350,450? Let me think about that. I found this for you. 1,162.08. Correct. <laughs> you lying liar! No. I said I would not shoot him. And I did not. Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques of some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today, as you probably guessed, we're going to be talking about this. <laughs> because of this. I want to make a dude's head explode in my film. Any chance of showing this on the show? We did a version of this a long time ago, towards the beginning of the show, but I figured uh, we could use some updating. It was like two and a half years ago. Am I right, Josh? Yeah. It was like asking you if I'm right every now and again to get confirmation on the fact that I'm always right. You're not. Not what? Right all the time. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, 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 hey. So the demise of Todd consisted of three things. One, Todd reacting to the head explosion on green screen. Two, a clean plate. And three, some blood assets. First, we shot the clean plate, which was easy enough, and I threw Todd in front of that green screen and had him act it out. And in this shot, I timed it with Todd so that on my cue, he would act out the head exploding and I would hit him with some real blood splatter, same timesies. The reason I'm doing this is to help sell the effect more. Whenever you're working with digital effects, you wanna add as much help in camera as you possibly can to make it seem like those digital assets actually live within that world. And the way I launched the blood on him was different than I showed you last week, meaning no air compressor. Now, I was going to use it, but our shoot ended up going late, and by the time we got around to the shot where we needed the blood, it was too late at night for me to fire up the loud air compressor. So instead, we took the absolute no budget route, which I have done before, and we used for all the blood hits in this sketch, and that technique is, ready? Filling a water bottle with blood, then on cue, squeezing it in the direction of the actor. That's it. Three, two, one. 
It doesn't work as well as the air compressor, but if you're on a budget or need silence, it is a really good alternative. But now that we have our footage shot, we bring it into our compositor of a choice, place the clean plate on the bottom, then the footage of your actor above that, and now do your keying. Next, go to the spot you want your actor's head to disappear and split the clip. Then add a mask to the clip going forward to get rid of the actor's head. But now you're wondering why do we need a green screen if we're just gonna mask anyway? Well, we need to be able to separate Todd from the background so we can manipulate his head to expand before it explodes. This way, uh, it wouldn't affect the background and ruin that visual effect. To do this, all we did was add liquify to the layer of Todd, then use the tool to bloat his head however we would like to. Then we keyframe the distortion percentage to go from zero to 100 right before it explodes. Next up, we need to add the blood assets. Now for this, we usually tell you to go to videocopilot.net, get their action essentials package and use that. But since this month is all about splattering our own blood, I wanted to create my own assets for this. So I grabbed some balloons, filled them with some blood and a whole lot of air. Then I went to my backyard, freak out my neighbors some more because I don't do that enough. Then I set up a green screen back there and suspended the balloon off of a C-stand and used a samurai sword to pop it and send the blood everywhere. Now why am I using a samurai sword you ask? Why the f not? I reply. Now although this did work pretty well, the sword was a bit of a problem since it showed up in all the shots and it had to be masked out. If I were to do this again, I would definitely find a better way to trigger the balloon pop, which I have a few ideas already. So next time, it'll be better. But now I just took that footage in After Effects, keyed it, placed it over Todd at the point of the boomage, and then added my sound effects. We popped his head like a pimple. Now, those extra added shots of me and Josh getting splattered with the blood was a huge part of selling that effect since it feels like the blood was really in that location, really being launched from Todd's person onto us. So extra added shots around your effect shot are gonna help sell your effect just as much as the shot itself. Keep that one in mind. Domain.com is owning the competition with cheap domain names and no hassle service. Our film right army is making Domain.com one of the fastest growing domain registrars in the world, which is pretty freaking awesome. Go us. If you're setting up a website to show off your photography, brag about your filmmaking skills, or do something more business related, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain name for your new idea. Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find your domain name and set up your website without the hassle. And Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names, making it easy to select the domain extension that's right for you. If you find a sweet .com or get a .co to save a, a character, already have a domain somewhere else, it's cool, just transfer it to Domain.com for only $7.61 sense and then you get an extra gear free which is delicious. The guys at Domain.com are big fans of Film Riot and they want to hook up all our other Film Riot peeps. So use the coupon code Film Riot and get 15% off your next domain purchase or transfer. That's only $6.47 for domain transfers as I've told you several times before. So don't forget and you should know this when you're thinking domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. Okay, kitties, I'm outy like a belly button or Josh from a closet. But until we again meet in bloody fashion, follow me on Twitter here and our page of faces here. And I'll see you guys next time when I take a purple flower to the top of a mountain to learn how to fight like a ninja. I know that one. No, you don't. Why don't you just trample my line? <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry, so I ate a baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>